Now, many of you want to know just how much my life has changed ever since I've been named Final Five in Gillette's search for Canada's next sportscaster. And to be perfectly honest with you, not much has changed at all in my life. Well, except for these two. You see, ever since I've been named Final Five, I've been receiving phone calls from sports networks all over the world. I haven't had a chance to answer any of them, so what I did was hire both these two. They field all my phone calls and let me know when I get that tempting offer from some of sports world's most elite networks. Okay, I got a network out of Germany. They want you to be the go-to guy for the Skee-Ball World Championships. I'm sorry, did you just say Skee-Ball? Sounds like it could be some good exposure. I've got a network from out east. Sounds pretty legit. How far east? I'm not gonna lie to you, it's in Japan. Do you even speak Japanese? No, I don't speak Japanese. I got a guy based out of India who wants you to cover the local cricket matches. What network? It's not an actual network. You'd just be yelling the play-by-play -play out to the local community. It's a pretty large community. I got three words for you. Unicycle Polo Championships. I know nothing about unicycling. Neither do I. What should I tell them? Tell them we have the wrong number or something. Make something up. I got a local network that sounds really interested in you, sir. There's a meeting set up. All I need is an answer. Cancel my five o'clock, because we're going to the meeting. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. So I'm just going to tell you flat out. We want Sean Menard to be the face of our network. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little hesitant because I, I do have a one in five shot of what the score is offered. It's the score, eh? Let me ask you something. Did the score ever offer you a deal as good as this? A two-year contract and a box of Joe Louis? As you can tell, we're prepared to go to great lengths to draft you, Sean. I'll give you a moment to think things over. I don't know. I've worked so hard to make it this far to work at the SCORE network. Could I really just throw it all away? One thing's for sure. The SCORE only offered you a one-year deal. This is worth two years. And the SCORE certainly didn't offer you some tasty Joe Louis with the cream filling. Not to mention the milk chocolatey shell-like exterior. All you have to do is sign on the dotted line, Sean. How can we hear his thoughts too? Yeah, I thought it was just a unique and special gift that only the three of us possessed. Okay, that is enough. No offense, but I just don't think I can sign this contract. You see, my entire life I've been thinking outside of the box. I've always been in search for that network that really appreciate my risk taking. You might even call me hardcore in search for a home. Out of 3,000 applicants, the score selected me to be in their top five. So you can take your lengthy two-year contract and box of delicious Joe Louis, because I might not have a guaranteed job at the score, no, but I believe I got a really good shot. And to me, believing is everything. <laughs> and even though I didn't mention it in my big heartwarming speech, you two, fired. Yeah, we pretty much figured that. That was one uh, hell of a speech you gave back there, man. You nailed it. This is a story about Billy Joe and Bobby Sue.